tout, 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 tout. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now. I won't stop till I wear the crown. Hello and welcome back to the Rice of Bains YouTube channel and a very happy new year to all of you guys and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for the new year because believe me the plans and ideas I have won't disappoint. As you can see we have the Ford Falcon in the garage at the moment because we just got done filming the best Falcon Friday video to date. <laughs> If you guys want to help support the channel, you can click on the join button and watch that video right now. The members get early access to three extra videos and then as soon as I upload new video, the oldest video of the three, I do my public for everyone to enjoy. That just means eventually everyone will be able to see all of the Falcon Friday videos if you are patient, unlike me. I'm not the most patient person, but building cars has taught me a lot. But I am very excited about this. I know it's not a boosted Benz, but soon enough, we'll give it the Ricer touch. Now back to today's video. As you know, I spent the better part of 2022 completely rebuilding the M104 Turbo W203. And all it needs now is a dyno tune or a road tune as we do it. We had some issues the first time out, but we should be good to go now after sorting out a few minor mistakes. I'm just waiting on Lance to let me know when he has an opening available to do just that. I do hope we can get that done in this video, but for now I want to head over to Vanner who helped me out with some cool drone shots for the Falcon Friday video. Because I have the memory card of his drone just to get all of the footage, so I want to get that back over to him and check out his cool beetle. So Vanner has this off-road Deadpool themed beetle and yeah, let's go check it out. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall Such a good feeling having both the cars i can just get in them and start them up and go where i want to go but like i said with this one we didn't tune it completely but as long as we stay out of any type of boost we should be good I will be honest, we do still have an oil leak that's kind of serious, but anyway, let's go get some fuel and then I'll see you guys when I get there. I feel good, you look great, I like you, I can't wait, our first time, our first day, you're so fine, I'm so late, you're so
sip wine I drink straight Don't waste time To my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I of the festive season he finally got some time to work on his own pride and joy he's been building that bad as Evo for a couple of years now and it's so close to being done that thing is gonna be insane massive pothole now I'm on a little road trip so I thought I would go over some plans and ideas I have for the new year oh and many of you are probably here because of this very car This W204 gets abused daily and it takes it like a champ. Currently it has a check engine light or well it's been on for a while but it can't be that serious. I think the last time we checked it's some kind of boost leak or something like that. At least the car isn't in limp mode so it can't be that bad. Okay first things first let's talk about the Ford Falcon. So as some of you may know, because I've mentioned this before, I picked that car up for next to nothing and that's basically the only reason I got it. I mean my channel is mostly about this car and then the Ricer Benz of course. And obviously I don't care about the Ford all that much, especially the body, but the engine is a different story. I personally think that engine has huge potential because the M104 I have is a 3.2 and then the Intec Ford engine is a 4 liter inline 6. Like they say, bigger is better and there's no replacement for displacement, but there is and it's called boost. At this stage the Ford Falcon is a test monkey and yeah I'm just having a lot of fun with it, more than I ever thought I would. It's weirdly been a lifelong dream of mine to have something that you can beat the living shit out of and not care about it too much. But the end goal has always been I only want the engine, so I want to remove that engine and then build it into another W203 body. And of course eventually add some boost but this time because I've done a turbo before this time I want to try maybe supercharging the intake 4 liter Wow I'm on the highway this this is this is potholes I love South Africa. need to start deciding on is if I'm gonna remove the Ford engine or start removing the Ford engine 
and then getting started on that whole project or should I have a little bit more fun with the Ford? I already built the off-road bumper, we have wheel spacers, we have bigger wheels, I still want to get a snorkel on it, stuff like that or should I just stop wasting my time and build another riser Benz? It is gonna be one hell of a job, but I think it's very possible. I mean, I've done it before, I'm sure I could do it again, but I want you guys to let me know what you think um, with a Ford engine in a Mercedes body. Woo, more potholes. I'm really motivated and excited for the new year and I hope you guys are too but that's about all I have for you guys this week like always thank you for watching and then I'll see you in the next one never stop or get it if I want it gotta make to myself a promise I won't quit keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top yo it. no I ain't the type to give up if I do something man I do it till I get what I want